Taylor Hendricks was a four-star recruit in high school and committed very early in the process to UCF. Hendricks wasn't necessarily viewed as a one-and-done candidate to start the season. He was ranked as just the 67th best freshman in the country according to 24-7 sports. But Hendricks has had a productive season at UCF and displayed growth as a shooter. This has catapulted Hendricks into the first round of most drafts and even into the lottery range in some of those mocks. Hendricks isn't a finished product at this time and will likely see some growing pains at the NBA level. But the skills are there and he looks ready to make the jump to the next level. The first strength for Hendricks is shot blocking. Hendricks is a springy athlete that can get off the ground in a hurry and, despite his slender appearance, possesses solid strength. Complementing his physical tools as a shot blocker, he also possesses good timing and instincts around the basket. Sometimes we see big guys struggle as shot blockers because they aren't great at timing their jump or understanding where they are on the floor in relation to the basket. Hendricks does not struggle in these departments at all. He does a good job timing his jump to block shots without fouling. It probably does help that he can get off the floor so quickly as well. Hendricks is a bit undersized to truly play the 5 in the NBA, so he likely won't be picking up as many blocks as he has in college. But with his skills in this area, he should be a competent rim protector in the NBA when asked. Another strength for Hendricks is the potential he has shown as a shooter. On the season, Hendricks has shot really healthy percentages from both beyond the arc and at the free throw line. He shot just over 39% from 3 and 78% at the line. Both of these numbers show us that Hendricks has a strong touch as a shooter. When you watch him play, you will see that he's more comfortable shooting off the catch, but has shown some ability off of the dribble, and looks very comfortable shooting out of a face-up situation from inside the arc. Hendricks reportedly wasn't much of a shooter in high school, so it's good to see that he has made strides in this area. While you might not be able to trust him to bring the ball up, run around a screen, and knock down a shot off the dribble at this time, he should be a solid floor spacer to start his career in the NBA. One weakness for Hendricks is shooting consistency. This might seem like a strange thing to say given his percentages that we just covered, but watching Hendricks shoot can be quite an interesting experience. He'll finish a game 2 for 5 from 3, but the 3 misses will be wildly off target. I think this is just a product of Hendricks still refining his form. When he executes everything well, his shot looks awesome, but there are times where he seems to rush his mechanics and that's when he puts up the wild attempts. All of this is likely just a product of Hendricks being relatively new to jump shooting. It's entirely possible as he continues to grow and shoot more, he'll be able to replicate his mechanics more regularly and become even more dangerous as a shooter. But at this stage of his career, if NBA teams are choosing a guy to leave alone beyond the arc, I think they'd force Hendricks to be the guy to beat them. Now the weakness for Hendricks is handling the basketball. Hendricks does have some ability to handle the ball, but he's not very dynamic at this time and can be kind of robotic handling the basketball. Playing in the AAC, Hendricks not being a high-level handler of the basketball wasn't usually too big of a deal. He was able to get by defenders on the perimeter using his size and athleticism. But in the NBA, he'll likely find it more difficult to shake defenders on the perimeter without a strong ability to handle the ball. This goes into a similar bucket as his shooting, where I don't think he's been tasked with doing it for very long, so there's some likelihood that he'll continue to improve. But at this stage, I think his handle will only really be good for attacking closeouts or getting out in transition. This first clip displays some of Hendrick's ability as a shot blocker. The play starts with Hendricks getting his pocket picked on the offensive end of the floor. It's then a one-on-two breakaway for him. Hendrick stays close enough to the original ball handler to force the pass. He quickly spins under the basket and goes straight up off the floor. He meets the dunk attempt at the rim and knocks it away. The instincts, timing, and raw athleticism Hendricks possesses are all on display here. It will be fun to see how his shot blocking prowess translates to the NBA. This next clip shows how Hendricks can struggle with inconsistency as a shooter at times. The play starts with Hendricks facing up on the wing. He takes a dribble inside the arc and tries a step back three. The defender plays it pretty well and Hendricks misses the shot badly. Hendricks looks like a strong shooter when he's open, especially off of the catch, but it seems like if he gets rushed, he can turn into an inconsistent shooter. Taylor Hendricks is one of the most, if not the most, surprising one-and-done prospects in this draft class. While Hendricks is still relatively raw as a prospect, the tools are definitely there for him to become a nice NBA player. 
He's big and athletic, has shown some nice shooting touch, and looks like he'll be a really solid defender. I think Hendricks will be a prospect that requires a bit more development than some of the guys in this class. His shot and ability to handle the ball are still developing. The team that drafts him probably shouldn't expect huge contributions right away. But with time and some good coaching, I could see him being a really useful player down the road. At his best, he could be a supersized 3 and D wing that can also switch onto bigger players and hold his own in the post. It just might take a few years for him to reach this level. But that's also what people thought of him coming into college, and he proved a lot of people wrong there, so anything is possible. My NBA comp for Taylor Hendricks is John Collins. Collins is having a bit of a down year and has struggled to find a consistent role for a Hawks team that is widely viewed as one of the more dysfunctional teams in the NBA right now. But at his best, Collins is a 6'9 guy that can switch across several positions on defense and also provide a spark on offense with his shooting. With some development, Hendricks could turn into a John Collins type player.